In the computer reviewing space, the term annual spec bump update refers to a machine that mostly looks the same as a previous model, just with a newer processor. These spec bump updates, naturally, aren't as exciting as a new product in a line or something with a redesign. Honor's latest laptop, the Magic Book 14, is a spec bump update over last year's Magic Book Pro. But it's more noteworthy than usual because it's one of the first Honor products to be released after the much publicized sale of the brand by Huawei. Meaning, this laptop is one of the first standalone Honor product. I know the Huawei ties have been officially cut, because a Huawei smartphone can no longer connect to the laptop via NFC. Instead, a Honor phone is needed now for that connection. Still, despite this, the Honor Magic Book still features many hardware similarities to a Huawei laptop, because these products generally have a product development cycle of 12 to 16 months. This isn't necessarily a bad thing. The Honor Magic Book 14 is a slim laptop with a silver aluminum body. It's mostly a typical laptop design, except there's a slight hint or flourish in the chamfered edges, which radiate blue when light hit at certain angles. This, along with the brushed aluminum finish gives the machine a classy yet slightly different vibe. As the name suggests, it features a 14-inch IPS LCD display with a resolution of 1920 x 1080. It's a good display panel at its roughly $1,000 price range, with accurate colors and a contrast ratio of 1000 to 1. Compared to pricier premium laptops like Apple's MacBook Pro or Huawei's own MateBook X Pro, however, the MagicBook screen noticeably doesn't get as bright. The hinge is sturdy and can open 180 degrees, completely flat. On the bottom half of the laptop is an excellent keyboard with good key travel, a power button that doubles as a fingerprint scanner, and an above-average trackpad that supports Windows Precision drivers. I've been spoiled by Apple's trackpads on the MacBook Pros, which are miles better than anything in the PC space, so I can't gush about the Magic Book 14's trackpad too much. It's fine and reasonably accurate. I'd still rather use a mouse if I can, only MacBook trackpads can make me forget the mouse. That aforementioned power button, fingerprint scanner combo works just like it does on Huawei laptops. You only have to press it once, even if the machine is turned off, it will boot up all the way to the home screen ready to go, without requiring you to scan your digits or authenticate your identity separately like other laptops. The Magic Book 14 can go from the completely off state to home screen in under 20 seconds. In terms of ports, the Magic Book 14 offers two USB ports, an HDMI output port, a headphone jack, and USB-C for charging. The latter is only for charging and basic data transfer, it cannot output display to an external source, you need the HDMI cable for that. The machine when closed measures 15.